Truth be told, we all go to school for one reason, to learn. The skills and knowledge acquired come in handy in the later part of our lives. As they say, education is the backbone of life. And well, Butula Boys School is the sure truth of the expression. Founded in 1964 as an intermediate school with a student population of 45, who were admitted at St. Paul's Amukura, it was later moved to its current location in 1965 and officially became Butula Boys under the leadership of Mr. Paul Erulu with only for ones and two. Butula Boys High School began in 1964. They didn't have uh, facilities for a second school then. So the Form 1 stream was admitted in St. Paul's in 1964. It was called uh, Form 1B. In the year 1964, the community was asked to relocate the intermediate to create room for a secondary school and also put up a lab and put up the principal's house. So 1965, they had, the community had done that. The Tula boys began in the former intermediate compound. Now they moved from Amkura, St. Paul's Amkura to Butula Boys. The principal then was called Mr. Paul Eru. He actually came with these boys from Amkura, his boys. They used to call them Erulu's boys. In 1967, the first class sat for the examinations, producing prominent people like the late Professor Kalistas Juma, Peter Kubebea, among others who have stood out in the society. I, I did my O level in Butula in 1969. I was in the third group. And thereafter, I went to Kenyatta University College. I ended up going back to Butula as a, as a principal, deputy principal, 1994. The outstanding institution is located in a Luhari location, Butula constituency, and it is the only national boys' school in Busia County. Butula has not been a boys' school all through. You will be amazed to hear that one of the school's heritage is that at one point it was a mixed school, a fact that is unknown to many people. The community requested Mr. Rulu that they didn't, they didn't have a girls' school and they wanted their daughters to go to secondary. And so they requested the Rulu to allow them to have a girls' stream within the compound. So it was within the compound, under the same Mr. Rulu, taught by everything, but they had their dormitories. Away, away from the boys and everything was the dining hall was the same and so on. So this girls' school, the class existed. They never learned in the same class. The girls, they were learning in their own classroom, but the administration was the same. So they were there up to 1992. When now again the same community realized that it was not good to have a mixed school, and they requested whoever was there, and that was now John Vegado, to release the girls. So now. Again, the girls, uh, they, they were released and even given the former school farm. The Butula boys had a school farm. So they released the former school farm and that currently the girls' school are there. Now completely independent school, 1993, they became the girl, Butula girls. In 1980, Mr. Luegado handed over to Mr. Peter Radoli, whose administration initiated several changes to help improve the school. Unfortunately, the students misinterpreted the changes and that led to unrest. The boys rioted, they burned the dining hall and so on. However, this did not put an end to Butula Boys High School and Butula quickly picked from the ashes to shape up the destiny of boys into a responsible and patriotic citizens. I was brought to Butula Boys as a deputy in 94, so I worked under Luegato for one year. 
as his deputy, 94. Then 95, I became the principal of Tula Boys. And I was the principal for 10 years. And by the time I went there, I think the mean score of Tula Boys was around something like five, around, around five. Uh, 1995 when I took over as principal. But when I left, it was nine. Mr. Odiambo became the principal and and he, I think he became the principal when you were in form three. Um, and what essentially he did is he made us look at those schools that were performing and realize that those students are not any different from us. So he introduced academic trips, for example, and I remember this one time we went to St. Mary's School, Yala, when St. Mary's was St. Mary's, <laughs> and he spent a whole day with them, just sitting with them in class, going through their lessons, the whole day. And when we came back, we were like, yeah, but they're not any different from us, so how come they're doing so well? Yeah. So essentially what, what indirectly he was showing us is that, well, they are not any different from you. It started changing things and slowly, slowly we, we, we started believing that it's actually possible and indeed it was possible. We had various programs that actually influenced our performance, most of which were student driven, of course with the guidance of uh, the teachers that uh, them guided us uh, during that time. Not forgetting, of course, the influence of uh, the principal then, uh, uh, Honorable Odiambo, who to a large extent challenged us to go beyond the usual. Some of us or some of our colleagues would um, set exams or cut and uh, disseminate this, uh, the same. We used to break from school on Friday and would meet on assembly on a Monday. You know, like there was nothing, there was no program. We used to have something called a nature walk. Nature walk. People would disappear into the villages and, you know, get into sugarcane farms and take sugarcane. And the next time you will hear of a few other learners drunk and disorderly in the village. So the school was. Um, in dire need of something that would reform towards a direction that would give quality and, and good grades. The turning point um, in my life in, in school was on that day I saw that that man called uh, Alfred Odiambo who became the principal. And so life started changing. We started competing to go to uh, remedial classes. We used to see teachers come and they will also scramble for this little time after classes. And so 20, uh, 1995 went, 1996 came, we would no longer go for half term, we did not have those nature walks. We had our program of going to church on a Friday. We now started having a proper, uh, um, a properly planned uh, school. That's how it took off. Due to its outstanding performance, Butula Boys was elevated to the status of national school in 2011. While I was in parliament as the MP for Butula, then there was this, uh, this other, the introduction of increased number of national schools. And I, I gave very professional uh, arguments. And the Ministry of Education saw a lot of sense in my arguments. So Butula Boys was elevated to the status of a national school. <laughs> Other principals who have served the school are Mr. Alfred Kibunguchi, 1974 to 1995, Mr. Solomon Gore, 1976 to 1979, Mr. Peter Radoli, 1980 to 1986, Mr. Peter Wandera, 1987 to 1988, Mr. John Luegado, 1989 to 1994. Mr. Nobat Wangalwa, 2006 to 2011, Mr. Matalanga, 2011 to 2012, Mr. Leonard Morocco, 2011 to 2015, and Mr. Omar Daniel, who is currently serving 
the school as the chief principal since 2015. I joined the school in the year 2015, January. I was transferred from Colonia Boys High School. And since then, we have seen the school grow. Uh, we started from a mean grade of uh, 7.5 in 2015. Uh, uh, 2016, a mean of 5.7. Uh, then the subsequent years that have followed, the school has gradually grown uh, to a mean of 8.15 in last year's group. Uh, we witnessed the largest number of students that attained a grade of C plus and above out of the 297 we registered last year, uh, 236 of them managed to attain a mean grade of C plus and above. In terms of admission of students to this school, we have registered the largest number of Form 1 since I ever came to this school. We have 601 students in Form 1. I'm proud that today we have students in school who can take instructions, students whose discipline are up uh, very high standards, and students who can listen to teachers and take instructions in terms of the vision and the mission that we have for this particular school. In December 2019, the first ever Butula Boys Alumni Association was launched. The founder members include Dr. David Odaba, Advocate Joadis Aseke, Mr. Mark Oseno Hannington, among others. All along, it was always our desire to, to see how we can give back the school. Um, I envied other schools that had established alumni, but that was not forthcoming, so at some point, um, we got together, a few old boys from Butla, and we decided, you know, we can't wait any longer. And so we just, we, we need to get this going. And so what we did, we, we had a few meetings. So we went back to the school, um, we had a chat with the principal, we met the, the students, and it was glaring that this school, despite being famous, despite having been elevated to a national school, there was just a glaring gap. And there was no way, for example, we were able to give back without a structure. So that was what now uh, motivated us to say what, we need to get this done, and we are going to have an alumni, we are going to register it, and we are going to get all the old boys on board. I must say there are a few old girls as well. <laughs> shaped us, now it should be our turn to, to shape the school and be the change that we want to see in the school. The old students have not forgotten their school as some of them have always come back to participate in various activities that are meant to help uplift the standards of the school. We went to the school twice. We didn't contribute much. In fact, we, we just we, we asked the few people who are already in the alumni and said, okay, can you just donate what you have? And we are going to visit the boys, and we just don't want to go empty-handed. And you will be surprised. We didn't even, we didn't need a huge amount of money. We went and bought them uh, bread and a meal, and just gave a few presents here and there because they had done a mock, and we were saying, okay, fine, can we use these mock results to just reward the people who had performed well in the mocks? And the feedback we got was very gratifying because what we were saying is just your presence there for the two sessions that you came to the school has had such an impact that everybody seeing the difference in this form for class. But I remember when we were in Butler High School, we did not have programs that would enhance quality learning, teaching and learning. We didn't. 
I remember there are some subjects we we, we rarely, you know, had teachers. Subjects like mathematics. I remember I started uh, concentrating on mathematics at um, at form three. Thinking about my high school days, um, it's interesting times. Uh, we were young, uh, a little bit confused. Um, when we joined Butla, it, it's not the Butla we know right now. Uh, for a starter, there was no electricity. So we used to have this generator that would come on at 6 and then it would be shut down at 10 p.m. So we had no morning preps uh, for that matter. But nonetheless, we, we managed to make the best out of it and we had to be innovative. For example, there was no morning crepes, but we still somehow managed to get the tin lamps and get paraffin to use to do morning crepes for those who are interested. To date, Butula School has continued to be a solid foundation to young Kenyan men who are molded into great personalities. Notable alumni are Dr. Nyabola, the current Ugenya Member of Parliament, David Ocheng, Reverend Father Lawrence Ongoma, former Deputy Governor of Busia, Moses Molomi, among others. I left uh, Tula of those in 2000, having also been um, a librarian of the school, I think for a period of uh, about one year. And uh, currently, I am a partner in the law firm of Mohamed Mugai, LLP, where I practice as an advocate. Other than that, I also teach law at Jomo Kenyatta University School of Law, which is based in, uh, in, in Karen. I am a teacher uh, by profession. And um, I've grown through the ranks in teacher leadership um, from classroom to a teacher leader in the trade union movement, a union called Kenya National Union of Teachers, at uh, the branch level in charge of Busia County for two terms of close to 10 years. And at the same time, I was um, a representative of, uh, of the teachers of Kenya, Western region, in the National Executive Council uh, in Nairobi for almost close to the same period. So I work, today I work at the Kenya National Union of Teachers as a senior executive officer in charge of administration and planning, precisely what I tried to do. The association is working closely with the board of management led by Professor Pius Odunga, Parents Association Chair led by Mr. Michael Ocheng, and the entire school management to make sure that Butula School moves to another level of academic excellence. To achieve this, the Board of Management and Parents Body are working together with the teachers to implement a strategic plan that was crafted to help uplift the standards of the school. We have been uh, looking at uh, issues due to infrastructure, uh, which uh, uh, influences the academic output of our school. And that's why we have put up uh, a laboratories uh, storage unit to help improve results in physics, chemistry, biology. We are also looking at classrooms, uh, which is also key to reduce congestions uh, in class and dormitories and even the catering unit. We have had uh, to arrange, for instance, to have a proper lighting system at the school, new generator, which can serve them. Uh, all the time they want to study. Together with the old boys, uh, the teaching st uh, staff, the non-teaching staff, we have tried uh, our best to put uh, an environment, an enabling environment for the students to achieve because we have targets. We had targets every year, we have targets. So ours is to help the administration to achieve the targets they have set. There is a unit of purpose for all stakeholders ranging from teachers, parents, alumni, as well as well wishers to take the school a notch higher.
to realize prompt curriculum implementation. The school program starts at 4 a.m. and ends at 10 p.m. In between, several activities that are meant to help learners become high achievers take place. Apart from the teacher-learner interactions during the normal lesson plan, other supplementary activities like a coordinated group discussions, lunchtime quizzes for compulsory subjects, peer teaching, and regular joint exams are also slotted in. Like in the military, where attitude and state of the soldier's mind matters most, Butula has always come up with different strategies to put the mind of the candidate focused. One of the strategies is to come up with a rallying call that keeps on reminding them about the task ahead. Last year, the call was writing history in golden letters. To drive these students from 8.1 to 9.2, we decided to go uh, uh, the, the Latin way. So our clarion call this year is uh, a pluribus unum, which means out of many, one. We are calling upon each student to stand out as an individual. Indeed, there are many schools, but out of the many, it will only be Butula. Uh, when it comes to timetabling, <coughs> we we are lucky that the school try to, uh, to uh, purchase a program that we normally use to generate a timetable. Uh, we normally we call it the S A S E timetable program. It's a program whereby once we have received the allocation from the various HOS, the work of the timetable is just to key in those uh, allocations per subject again the name of the teacher. The year 2020 was a year full of challenges as it is the year when COVID-19 first reared its ugly head, wreaking havoc into the economy and forcing schools to close for a better part of the year. However, challenges notwithstanding, Butula lived by its promise and the candidate surpassed expectations to achieve a mean score of 8.15 with 34 A's. I'm speaking as the Form 4 principal of the year 2020 and uh, as you understand very well that uh, the year 2020 was one of those years that the school realized good results in KCC. And I always tell uh, everyone that we are very proud to have been at the center of those results as the Form 4 principal of that particular group. Uh, good results come as a result of good preparation. And as a school, we heavily invested in preparing those candidates for that particular exam. I can say that the candidates themselves in the year 2020 had a stronger desire to achieve. And that is how we managed to narrowly miss hitting our target mean of 8.5 by getting 8.15. We managed to get four plain S, and remember, this S had been elusive in the entire Busia County, and we are the only school in Busia County that managed to get four plain S, and then we had 30 A minuses, we had 46 B pluses, we had 45 Bs plain, we had 49 B minuses, we had 62 C pluses, we had 44 C planes, we had 11 C minuses, we had 5 D pluses, and we had only one D. A lot has changed since the current principal, Mr. Daniel Oma, took over the year 2015. The school has grown in terms of student population, teacher capacity, and academic performance. Upon his arrival, Mr. Oma's administration was resisted by forces loyal to the previous administration. So much was the statement that it ended in the court of law. However, that is water under the bridge that forms part of the bad history of the school as Butula now is a united institution with a sense of purpose. The culture that I found here uh, when I came in 2015 uh, gave me a shock. 
because the students had been raised up in a way that they did not appreciate hard work. And they had believed that, you know, even passing exams, you know, you could be in school, uh, fail to study, but you'd still pass exams. And, you know, drugs and substance abuse was also very rampant. So it was a school that, you know, required a child who had a lot of, you know, uh, self-direction uh, for them to manage and also to, for them to go through. Uh, on several occasions, we had conflict with students. I want to say that we had a strike in the first one. Then we also had a second one. And we managed, you know, to get rid of the troubleshooters. And after a short while, we had peace with the students because they understood the direction in which we wanted to take the school. Um, we also handled the non-teaching staff in terms of those who are indisciplined, the accounts office and the stores. So around that particular time, we inherited a debt of 22 million. Uh, we managed to pay them uh, in a period of about uh, two years. Since we started, you know, the process of reclaiming the school back and creating order, uh, we have witnessed, you know, very responsible kind of parenthood. Uh, we interact with them in terms of uh, meetings. We interact with them in terms of fee payment. They have been very supportive. And of course, that is what will make a school. Uh, our teachers have been very aggressive in terms of assisting the students to cover the syllabus. Uh, we have them here being a boarding school in the evening. Uh, we have them here in the morning. Sometimes we have had them here over the weekend if uh, we are not committed in any other out-of-class activities. And this has helped us, in fact, to cover the syllabus in good time. We have a program of motivation for students, uh, particularly the students that do well. Uh, usually they have the principal's uh, coffee. Uh, they have coffee uh, with bread uh, with their class teachers and you know we do that to motivate them. We have a number of trophies for classes that have done well. We normally uh, give them out when we have those ceremonies and we also do motivate the teachers and particularly uh, when we get the national uh, KCSE results. Uh, the teachers that have posted good results are appreciated. We do letters for them, we give them certificates, and we also have some small monetary, you know, aspect of, you know, telling the teachers a big thank you. Uh, those of our students who did well, like last year we had four uh, plain A's, uh, we managed to buy for them, uh, as awards, uh, laptops. Uh, which we awarded sometimes in the month of September, just before we closed. Uh, those of them who got A minuses uh, walked away with uh, with mobile phones. The school is united with the two deputies fully executing in administration and academics. I deal with the resources of the school, uh, the resources and the personnel, and of course the personnel. I will start with the teachers ensure that they're doing the right thing, uh, acting as a deputy principal curriculum implementation. Uh, so therefore, I deal with the delivery of the content to the students, uh, supervising the teachers, doing the right thing, uh, so that we are able to attain the mean that we have set for 2021-2022. That is 9.242. Apart from the teachers, I deal with the non-teaching staff and uh, of course I supervise them also, those th the kitchen staff. We also have the groundsmen. Uh, I supervise how they carry out their duties so that we uh, ensure that the Butler fraternity is uh, fully uh, carrying out its mandate as an institution. We also have school farms. The school farm that we have is for bananas, banana plantation. We also have uh, our dairy project and I supervise to ensure that we also generate milk which we give the students. We give our students milk tea apart from porridge. 
and so that they have a good quality breakfast in the morning, which will carry them uh, through the day up to 11 and also up to the other meals. To maintain discipline and ensure the smooth running of the school's daily programs, the student council, which comprises of 62 student leaders, always support the work of the administration in implementing school routines. I gear the students towards achieving their academic success because I am the one in charge of the school routine. So I run and manage the students in making sure that the routine is clearly followed and adhered to. Secondly, I lead a council of 91 prefects. So those prefects also help the teachers in making sure order is achieved in our school. Mainly mine is about hygiene, dressing code, and how you conduct yourself while in the boarding section. Normally I rule about 18 dormitories in the school. I'm concerned about the kitchen department and the cleanliness, especially in the boarding section. I handle cases about theft in the boarding area and also about maybe some cases like you can find a student who doesn't want to attend preps. In coordination to that case, I must rely with the academics office or with the academics prefect so that I may sort it out. In Bull High School, the food is very delicious, given in plenty quantity, and also the diet that we have is good for the students. One, I'm charged with the duty of uh, ensuring that lessons in the classes are attended to. That is by doing this, collecting the remedial capture sheets from the administration, distributing to the all classes which is filled by the class prefects, then ensuring that they are returned to the administration. That is done weekly. And of course, the teacher in charge normally does that summary. I have been, I have been in charge of, of bringing up the clubs in the school, which are the uh, academics one. And so far, we are having two clubs which are academics related. And these are uh, the science club and the math club. We, uh, in, the, in the science congress club, we are having member, membership of 150 members who are very hard working in the club. Uh, in, the, in the year 2017, the club managed to reach the regional levels where two participants emerged the winners and they were, uh, they were granted the certificates. And uh, my duties include uh, uh, maintaining order in the classes and uh, ensuring that their classes are in good order, good conditions, according to cleanliness and uh, the disorder in the classes. My duties are to ensure that the routine is followed to the latter by each and every student in each and every time. So, As the head of that department of routine, I make sure that when, people, when students wake up at 4 a.m. in the morning, they all go to class, make sure there is conducive environment for everyone and preps are attended to by each and every student. I joined the school on 2nd of August 2021. I was very glad to secure a chance in this amazing school. Butula, it is a school of legends. It is a school that I admired so much. And now that I am in it, I want to make very good use of it. I want to become an engineer. And I know the pathway to being an engineer it is through studies, and uh, through my studies in Butler School, I believe I shall achieve my goal. Since excellence needs strong roots, Butula Boys has a range of specialities led by phenomenal teachers. For starters, the academics department has decentralized learning from teacher to student centered to see through syllabus completion. Um, we started the issue of you know, student centered learning, whereby a teacher is a senior partner. Uh, what teachers do, we don't want actually to treat anything uh, special. For example, you have a question paper and you want now to, call, to, to look at it, at this one belongs to the teacher. You have a marking scheme and say that this one belongs to uh, a teacher. We, we are actually trying to move from that and uh, we are socializing teachers to train examiners, among us to the students, from form one. 
so that when we are setting exams, students participate in setting. You look at the quality of the, the papers, you correct. Then we also train them to participate in marking. And of course, before marking, we have been training our students also uh, you know, to prepare the marking schemes. And students marking their own scripts. And you know, what is important here is that when a student interacts with a particular aspect at setting, at the preparation of the marking scheme, at marking, and finally we are using the same same students to revise with others, then you know, you are doing this thing again and again and voluntarily without actually any form of coercion. This is a special way of self-learning. Uh, when students do this, then we don't need necessarily to talk of the, uh, very many teachers. We only need a senior partner to direct and of course after that they sit in groups and do the rest. This is our secret and it is doing uh, great things. Students are guided on career path right from Form 1 so that they are able to determine their professional line and prepare adequately. When our students uh, join us in Form 1, then we talk to them about what they want to do. So one, knowing what you want to do will actually double your efforts towards that. You know, once a dream is known, and that we have socialized our students not just to go for a dream, but a serious dream like Silene Johnson says, that a dream must be big enough to scare you so that actually you work hard in attaining it. We are living in a dynamic world which is ruled by innovation through sciences. With this realization, Botula takes the teaching of science very seriously. The construction of a three-story multi-purpose science complex is ongoing. The complex will house laboratories for biology, physics, an ICT center, 12 classrooms and departmental offices. For effective communication, one must be proficient in at least a language. Because of this, the Kenyan government declared English and Kiswahili to be both national and official languages. Proficiency in the two languages are therefore very important for candidates in the KCSE exams as they determine the kind of results a candidate gets. In our department, uh, we have two languages. We have Kiswahili department and we also have uh, English department. As far as uh, English is concerned, uh, I'm proud to mention that we are making uh, great strides towards excellence. Uh, uh, given the fact that uh, we have been having steady improvement in our results. If I may give you statistics a little, in 2016, our mean was at 4.99. We improved. 2017, we scored 6.1255, which is a positive deviation. Um, 2018, we had a mean of 6.6390. Uh, in 2019, we scored a mean of 7.5146. And in 2020, I'm proud to say, that we scored a mean of 7.796. Na tunapochofanya sisi katika idara ya lugha ya lugha ya Kiswahili tunaweka hawa wanafunzi katika majopo. Yale majopo wakisha soma tunawapatia kazi za kufanya. Kuna wale wanaochambua maudhui wao wenyewe kuna wale watakaochambua wahusika kuna wale ambao watatupatia mutasari wa hadithi na wanakuja kuwasilisha mbele ya wanafunzi wenzao. Nakumbuka unawasilisha mbele ya wanafunzi ambao wamesoma kitabu kama wewe. Kwa hivyo unapopotoka watakwambia kwamba hapa umepotoka. Nadhani huyo mhusika ni huyu, pengine unamchanganya huyu na huyu.
COVID-19 changed the way school communication is handled. One of the communication tools Botula School adopted is the publication of a content-led school magazine. This is done in partnership with ACTT Digital Media and is implemented by the journalism club led by Abel Patron. The members of the club are shaped in terms of creativity, personality, public speaking, and outside classroom skills like news reporting, videography, and photography. Now, my club is one of the most vibrant clubs in school, uh, basing on the fact that we are always trying to keep the other students up to date with news concerning school affairs, national affairs, and international affairs. On Monday, we have our English News on Assembly, which is read by the Journalism Club, and every Friday we read it in Kiswahili. Luckily enough, we started a YouTube channel called Butula School. Now we have over 1,000 subscribers, and it keeps growing daily. This year, we were able to print a school magazine with the help of ACCT Media, and it was a wonderful magazine, which both the parents and students have appreciated. That is a very big stride that we have made in the right direction, and I believe it's going to go a long way in selling the school and even selling the club. We also expect to enroll more students and if possible, even tag them to media houses that might be able to help them achieve much. This exemplary school has a modern computer lab with Wi-Fi coverage in the technical and applied department and offers French, music, agriculture, business studies and computer. On matters of exams, the ICT and examination department organizes everything. It sets deadlines for marking and revision advertising on academic issues, organizing joint exams, and more. So we came together as, as, as various schools and we carry out joint exams which add value to our students. Maybe to mention just an example, we have an exam called BRAM, which is an, a joint exam that uh, involves schools that are doing well in this region and even across uh, the, the, the county. And this department is the same, same department which is involved in uh, uh, analyzing the results, the results that the exams that I've talked about, in the same same department that is involved in, in producing the, the report cards. So it's the same same department that's involved in the name is system, uh, uh, capturing the bio data for the students, for the whole school. Overseeing daily class activities is not just left to class teachers. The form principals, who run across from one to four, are now there to coordinate the academic duties in those classes and air problems presented by the students to the administration. The major duty is to coordinate the academic programs in form four. Uh, that one is done through meetings. I ensure that uh, the class teachers have attended meetings which are held on Wednesdays. So in every class I ensure that class teachers are there. The issues that uh, the students raise, they are normally recorded by the class teachers, forwarded to the form principal. Uh, and as a form principal, I have to do a, a few clarifications here and there on the issues, and then I present them to the academics, to the administration. Apart from just coordinating the issues of the students to the parents, uh, I control the walls. Each stream has a wall where I coordinate all the arguments, all the, the issues that parents raise. And if there's any matter that we have to address as a school to the parents, I do exactly that. I'm the one to give the official report. And if there's any matter that parents need to address, they'll put it on the wall, I'll go through the administration and then give the feedback. The guidance and counseling area molds the learners in terms of character development, acting as a bridge between home and school for them while maintaining confidentiality and trust. Uh, as a department, there are two words entailed in it, guidance and counseling. In guidance, we lead the students into showing them the path to undertake so that they are able to achieve their life objectives in the different departments, be it academics or co-curriculum, 
or even how they associate and interact with the others. Counseling involves working with a student through his life challenges. In life, there are a lot of challenges that they come across. So we try to work with them so that they are able to overcome those challenges and be able to be molded into a holistic individual. The finance division coordinates the school's accounts and expenditures while the boarding ensures students eat well, sleep comfortably and are safe. I do budgetary management and controls in terms of expenditure variances. Uh, number two, uh, the human resource management. I normally advise on issues of finance and basically coordinate with the school accounts clerks uh, in ensuring that uh, we serve our customers so that they get value for money, especially acknowledging the payments they make and also making responses to them in terms of correspondence. We make sure that they have that friendly environment in a school situation. That is why usually our clarion call is a home away from home. Just to make sure that a student has a feeling that he would have had at home or even better. We, most, most of our staff, those professional staff are trained and we are sure that uh, they give our students the best. Our one major thing that uh, we have had to work with is meeting uh, the bed capacity of our, of our students. You look around, you'll find a number of our dormitories were initially laboratories. We don't do that because we want to do it uh, like that. We lack the capacity sometimes to support the population we have. So I think to begin with is how to manage the population we have as concerns where they sleep. That has been our major problem. For refreshed studying minds, Butula takes co-curriculum undertakings very seriously. The activities begin from 4 to 6 p.m. The games teacher guarantees students attend training during this time and they discover their natural talents while keeping fit. In this school, uh, we provide nearly all the games activities. We have soccer, we have uh, volleyball, we have rugby, both uh, sevens and fifteens. We provide uh, athletics, we have hockey, we have handball, basketball, we have uh, lawn tennis, table tennis, and badminton. We also have uh, chess and scrabble. Across the years, games and sports have been the Botula Boys hotspot and top students have graduated with gold, silver, and bronze awards. Rugby and volleyball being a powerhouse, producing players like Levi Odiambo, who plays for the national team. Just as its name Western Hawks, Botula Boys enrolls athletic and top pupils to the institution by selecting the best during their games and athletics day. As a person, I'm in charge of rugby. I'm a coach of rugby. We make sure we coordinate these particular activities because co-curriculum activities enhances academic performance. For the past few years, we have been able to take several items to the uh, nationals in regards to the co-curriculum activities. That is uh, things like drama, we have been able to take the, the, the poems, Music, you have been able to take few items to the nationals. In French, you have been able to take several items to the nationals. In uh, games activities, we have been able to take uh, uh, our games up to the regional levels. Uh, going forward, as a department, we we'll like all the activities to get to the nationals and uh, uh, to the East Africa and to the world. Johnny Mekakwai bench, 
nikijienjoy kwa, kwa life hii shule si unajua tunakula fiti everything tunapata kitabu tunapata juu ndio the main si unajua tunacheza but si kucheza sana tunacheza limited but masomo tukiscore tunascore max unlimited Clubs and societies allow the boys to belong to their various groups like drama, scouting, WCS, YCS, CU, and even Muslim society. Butler School has uh, several clubs and societies. Among the clubs, we've got the uh, Prestige Award, we have the Drama, Scouts, we've got the Great Debaters, and Journalism you realize that their commitment to various clubs and societies has catapulted the school to national competitions. Through the clubs, uh, Butler School has been to, able to gain uh, popularity among the global schools, and therefore uh, it, we, we become so proud of the school because of these clubs. We all know that Butler is founded on the Christian faith. That's why it's called St. Louis, the school motto being always prepared. Somebody may ask, why was it decided to be called St. Louis? St. Louis was the only king in France and in the whole world who was able to be made a saint on one of the reasons. Before he went to his palace, he used to go for mass every day. And mass used to begin very early in the morning. So King Louis was always prepared. So as we found our faith on Christianity, based on Louis as a saint, I'm also very happy that the school accommodates other clubs, other societies, the CU and uh, the Muslim society, which makes the school observing and respecting the freedom of worship among the learners. Through the YCS, CU, and Muslim society, we also see that actually it nurtures the spiritual growth among the learners. It also incorporates with guiding and counseling, whereby we teach on various disciplines uh, in, and in various societies to uh, allow the children grow morally and spiritually within the school. We call it BTS. The Presidential Awards Club, supported by the Duke of Edinburgh, empowers students to engage in various community activities through voluntary involvement. It's a very important club for the students because it develops their character, it develops uh, to want to become a hands-on person. So apart from performing well in class, what can you do out? Side class. So sometimes we take out activities even around the school compound. We can do internal activities like cleaning, just cleaning around the teachers' quarters, or even sometimes once in a while we clean the market, we clean the AP post just out here, hospitals and so on, just in an effort of, of what we call community service. Recently we went for what we call an adventurous journey over the holidays, where we went, we go for mountain climbing, so that the boys are, are, are taken through like it's, it's, a, it's a, a life experience. You interact with the life through and through. So we usually encourage boys to participate in, in this program because it helps them a lot. One student in particular, a McDonald Achuti, has managed to plant 20 trees. With the support of the club's patron, McDonald, together with other students, has planted 258 more trees courtesy of the Kenya Forest Service. I first got the name Green Ambassador from my father, who, who first asked me what are the importance of trees. He told me, I told him that trees bring life. He then bought for me 10, 20 trees in which I could plant this town. So I came with them, I had already planted them, and also to the support of my, of the club patron of Presidential Award Kenya, Mr. Skipiego Seren. He has, helped, he has brought 250 trees in which he was given by the Kenya Forest Service. Me and my team had already planted and now we are on a mission on making, it, on making the trees grow. This star school has health resources for treating students 
and advising them on health standards. Nurse Susan Mukabi, who has taken care of students for 15 years now, is skilled in administering treatments unless the learners need a referral to the nearest hospital. My work is to take care of uh, conditions of the sick students. Then uh, is to take care of also the health standards of the school. So I usually operate it in different hours. I open up my sick bed anytime it works for 24 hours because we might get an emergency anytime. So I don't have any fixed time. I work for 24 hours. Uh, for the 15 years I've been around, the mostly ailment, this is a malarial zone. So most of the students are affected with malaria. Others, upper respiratory tract infection, we have the coughs around. Uh, those are the most common diseases around. But you can imagine one time, I didn't expect them to be in school. You can imagine alumni coming in who just went in 2008, came over looking for a short nurse if she's still around. <laughs> then he had to ask me, where is your family? I had a girl with Barbara. I told him that my, my girl is in school. But I lost my husband. He paid the school fees for my child in Form 4 level. Another significant hand to Butula School in ensuring the learners sit and sleep comfortably is the division of furniture. Mr. Ocheng Daniel, together with the school carpenters, keeps the chairs, lockers and beds available for the boys. This department cuts across the two academic and also as well as boarding. When the four months were coming in, we had a big challenge because there was that large influx of students who came in, but then we didn't have enough facilities. So maybe being the link between the students, teachers, and the school administration to ensure that we have the correct number of chairs and lockers for both teachers and students. Then on the department, on the boarding department, we need to know that how many beds do we have for the students in the dormitories and also checking on the bed spaces that where do we, how many can we add where. We have serialized the, the chairs as well as the beds so that you are given one chair and one locker from Form 1, you carry it to Form 4. Under the Catholic Church, the school maintains religious activities and learners portray exceptional traits when it comes to singing. Butula boys being their alma mater, the alumni call for the big boys to come together and plan the new outlook for the school. For what matters is not how you begin, but how you end. One of the things that um, we, we are really contemplating as an alumni is to develop mentorship programs. And those are going to be direct mentorship programs. Um, we've been to the school twice, and each time we've met the we met the the form four class, the ones who just finished their KCSE, and you could tell from their interaction, from their interest, that they really, really are looking for mentors. As an alumnus association, what we are hoping to do is that we integrate those sessions into the school calendar, and we can be tapping into the rich uh, network of the alumni to say, okay. This week or this weekend, we need a few mentors to go to the school. Who is available? Uh, the greatest uh, thing that I can do uh, is, is to mentor uh, the students who are in Kutula now. I think with the kind, uh, with the right advice, and the fact that we can just be available and inspire them, for them to realize that it is possible from the same kind of setup, from the same kind of environment, with the same kind of facilities. And I'm even told now the even better facilities than probably what some of us had uh, at the time. And, and we are trying to get people to understand that it's not just about money, even time is important. I'm available if there's a trip, for example, for mentors, they can join in and come and 
to have a chat with the, with the boys. We actually want to see Butler uh, being ranked with Mark Wise. We, we want to see Butler as Lenana. We want to see, we want to see Miranda in, in Butler. We want to see Maseno school so that it becomes an epitome of veritability for the people of Busia County. The main aim is to, to raise funds uh, periodically, maybe yearly or maybe or twice a year, but mainly yearly. And when they raise these funds, whatever the funds we raise, we will actually channel them to the boys. Okumu Isaac here, an alumni of Butler Boys High School. I take this great opportunity to welcome you all, Butler Boys Alumni Association. Come, let's engage, let's talk, and let's donate to our alma mater. The teachers hope that with the necessary resources set apart, the school will breathe a sigh of relief and move to even greater heights with B plane as the least mean. The deputy principal, on the other hand, hopes that soon a dormitory accommodating 300 more students will be constructed so that the institution can host at least 2,000 students. The challenge I find when I go into the dormitories is congestion. So we are focusing at least on uh, being able to put up a dormitory which can be able to house or accommodate 300 students. Uh, because this is a society that is arithmetically growing. We want to improve the school farm to be at least uh, able to produce milk uh, that we can be able to use in making milk tea to the students. We want to see an association that would look like what we are seeing today. When I was seeing <laughs> the other day Miranda raise 100 million in, in just a fraction of a second, I think I got elected. Uh, I would want Butula to take its rightful place. We used to call ourselves the Western Hawks. I think it is high time we became the Kenyan Hawks. The vision of the chief principal for Botula Boys High School is crystal clear. The vision I have for Botula is one uh, is to turn around the school uh, to be a center of excellence. When I talk about excellence, I'm not just talking about posting good results. You know, I'm looking at a level whereby you know we are developing students who are responsible, students who are mature and can easily adjust in terms of using the skills that they have acquired here to fit, uh, you know, positively in the international community or the Kenyan society. And I think once we do that, we would have played our role, you know, in serving this greater society and leaving, giving, lending a hand to people we can rely on out, outside there. A number of Butula students and alumni members are so grateful for the school for shaping them to be the men they are today. For me, Butula has really helped me because I've learned some leadership skills. I've learned how, how, how to manage my time and how to even to relate with some people relate socially with people. Kudos to Butler. Thank you for transforming me. Thank you very much, Butler High School. My name is Alvin Bruce, a member of Form 4 South at Sanchi Sana Butler School. My name is Wandera Kasper, a member of Form 4 South at Sanchi Sana Butler School.